Now we have a 100% functionality in the application. Just wanted to do a quick walkthrough so you can see how it's been implemented. Uh, this is the home page and we can see our navigation here. Um, I took out the index in hotel motel index directory just because an index is a directory and vice versa and it just seemed a bit strange having both words there but I can easily add that back in again. Um, right, so our main uh, element for potential travellers is to come to the search page. So if we start typing in the name of a city, we can see we get a list here. We get the, the top 10 to stop the list being incredibly long for when there's you know, very, very many options. But if you keep on typing, it gets shorter and shorter. So here we see, let's go for pick Boston and it will auto complete the box, which is as nice as it stops users from putting in garbage results and uh, you know the populated data is is corresponds to uh, entries in the database so you know they won't find get no results from any of these options and if we go to go this is Boston so we're going to get quite a lot here and the database I found quite a lot of errors in the database but uh, you see here we got no image for this this place but uh, it deals with the no image well enough if we click on one of the locations we can see the picture that's in the database if you have a decent browser or you're on a phone if you click on any of these links that will this I'm on Windows 10 so this gives me the option to uh, open Skype and call the number um, there's no email address with this particular hotel but if there was an email address we could click on that and uh, write to them directly and we can also map it which gives us takes us straight to the Google page, which we can then you know start using the Google uh, functionality to get directions and see exactly where it is. So this pretty much reproduces the functionality you already have. If we go back home again, we can see we can also put zip in. So let's try zero two uh, zero, and again you can see. This has picked all the places that have a zip code that starts with 020 that are currently in the database. So we just go to Mansfield and click go. We can see we just have one entry there for Mansfield. Uh, the other links on this page are fairly straightforward. Entering the draw takes us to this page where the uh, user can enter their basic information and click submit. This then sends an email uh, to you guys um, to enter them for the uh, draw. Uh, the year dates here will update every year so it will take the current year and put it here and then a year later and put that there so that we don't have to keep coming in every so often to make such a small change. All of these other links are now live so if we click on one of these we can see we just pretty much have a cut and paste from the, uh, the existing tool and the same for the vacation packages. If we go across the options along the top, about just gives us a bit of history about the website. Contact, we need to complete this a bit better, but uh, trivial to change. And then we get into more member type functionality. So if somebody wants to become a member, um, then they come to this page. Uh, all of all of the uh, starred are, um, are required and there'll be validation checking against it so we'll make sure that we get an actual phone number not a, a messed up phone number and that we'll actually have a, a proper email address so the validation on there is good um, if we just do a quick example so test test Litchfield Park this is in Massachusetts uh, zip 02048, reservation number, just my mobile number, fax, which isn't required. Um, if I'm going to go for option two, I would fill these in and click on the box here, but I'm not going to go to to do that. So if we submit, we see we just say thank you for application and then an email is sent to you guys with the, with the information in it. So that works fairly well. Um, the other option a member can do is, uh, I guess they're not really members, they're more uh, you know, owners in, that are in the database, but 
we've stuck with the nomenclature of the previous website. <laughs> so if they're looking for their own um, own place, they have the similar functionality that they have on the first page. So if I do 04020, uh, 020, this is all the places starting with 020 that we have in the database. They can select the place that is theirs. Um, click go, that will pre-populate the form. They can make their changes, press submit. And again, that will send a message, an email to you guys to uh, make the change or not. Um, one improvement you might want to look at in future is to actually have members accounts so that when they log in they can actually make the changes themselves but they won't be able to see anybody else's records um, so in that way you won't have to spend time updating uh, the forms yourselves just let the user do it um, we can send them an email reminder when they forget their email address and login information and that sort of thing um, so let me know if you want to do that enhancement um, it saves you doing it um, uh, of course, the advantage of the way you do it at the moment is that you get to um, mediate the changes. Um, but this way, they can put in what they want and you don't have to uh, do anything at all. So it saves a bit of time. So that's all the uh, user and hotel owner um, or marketing guys uh, functionality. The other one is the stuff you guys do on a daily basis. So I didn't want to have a login tab here or login link here because login only applies to about four people um, so having that there sh you know shows your casual user that there is a membership process as login and it might tempt people to look a bit further and and prod about and try and create account for themselves so it's pretty much hidden um, if you float over to the right just past the end of the hotel motel directory symbol you'll see the cursor will change and there's a hidden web link there that will take you directly to the manage entries page. Now, of course, I'm logged in, so that's why it didn't call up a login page. Um, I've logged in so many times, it now just remembers me. But um, of course, uh, for the first time you do this, it will ask for your login information, which I'll provide at a separate time. Um, I can, let's see, we can choose any of the entries by the, the auto complete so again I mean so in some cases I'll know the reference ID rather than the zip in the city and uh, this will work just as well on on the, the zip uh, sorry on the um, reference ID option as it will for anything else so here's all the ones that where the uh, the uh, reference ID starts with 22 so if we select one of those do go and we can see the form is, is pre-completed. Um, we can make changes to this and do, you know, create. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do create. But create. Uh, if you do create, you'll end up with a copy of this for the different reference ID. So it will be in the database twice. Um, so create really, really is for when you've, you know, you've made changes here to the login name, and you are actually creating a new record, not updating an old one. So if we update that we can see the object was successfully updated uh, we can delete it and get rid of it there's an error there I'll fix that um, let's stay where we are with this one if we go to uh, the various TNET NHMA HMI this gives us the PDF that we then ship out that's broken there so I'll fix that before I uh, send this video to you 